Ni mo beche story bi. E wo sa devotion ye mu. Na ye nwi e no be hunu se onyame ye a bring in na the Lord is good. Answer ni beche se. Mama ye nyina ye mom paye. So before we start, let's pray. Our heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and mercies. We thank you for your love and kindness. As we bow to start our devotion, we invite you. We want you to open our minds and our hearts for your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The title of what we're going to talk about in this devotion is God is always good. Internet yebe kahwase and it say unyami oje abringina. Before we start, I have a question for you. The question is, do you have a best friend in your life, maybe in school or at church, who is so special to you? Who are done for beer for your best friend the pa? If I could reach each and every one of you, I would have asked you this question. And you would tell me something special about your best friend. You're going to tell me something about your best friend. Senka, Ubiya wa menchei han, kami pusa munye na se. Who are done for pa, your best friend. Now I can something special about that best friend of yours. I didn't see, I know you're your best friend. You might have a lot of friends, but why is this particular friend of yours your best friend? It might be that this best friend of yours shares a lot of things with you anytime he or she sees you. Maybe she, she shares her sweets, her chocolates, and anything she has with you. Or it might be that in school, this best friend of yours reports to your teacher anytime someone wants to bully you. Because of this, she or he is so special to you. school, if someone wants to bully you, you'll be per se ohawa. Or how are you now? Or report to your teacher. Maybe because of facing in Tino or your best friend, open us in This friend of yours wants the best of you all the time. And he or she wants you to feel happy always. Maybe that is why he is your special friend. I want to tell you today that God is like this special friend of yours. He is good to you all the time and he wants the best of you. He will come to help you anytime you call him. Immediately he will send his angels to come straight to you and protect you. We're going to read something from Psalm 100, verse 5. And it is a Bible. Verse 5. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. He loves us all, all the time, and he is faithful. Whatever he says he will do, when the time is due, he does it. 
you will not go and come here. I said, Obey your mind. I'm pretty sure you are no, I am mine. So he is always good. I have a nice story I'm going to tell you. And by the time the story ends, you would know that the Lord is good all the time. And to me, the cat story, Beatrice, maybe a nobu so yami a brain in so we're going to begin our story, which is about a certain king and his servant. The title of the story is God is good all the time. There was a certain king and this king had a servant. And always, all the time in the palace, the servant used to tell the king that, King, the Lord is good all the time. The Lord is excellent. The Lord is perfect. This king didn't understand him. So one day, they went on hunting and a wild animal attacked this king. The servant managed to kill this animal, but the king, in the process, lost one of his fingers. Not only servants, not any of And a previous servant in the country say, King, who didn't say, Nyame ye all the time. Not only in Tiasia. Into one day, Omoko forest to be me. I say, Omoko, you hunting. And that Jataka Sebi, a lion, or jumping over the king. Juana servant, you know, a kum Jatan. Servant, you know, lion. But Kino, Nensawin, a chai. Lion, a can in San Emma, Nensano, a chai. And until they came home. Omo ba back to the palace. Na king na bua fu pa. When they came, na ni bua fu servant na say, "Want to me and save me." So, the servant still told the king, "But king, you're still alive. So the Lord is good. You didn't die. The Lord is good. He's perfect all the time. He did no wrong." So the king told the guards that take him to prison because I'm so angry. He is so annoying. And the king said, I'm going to prison. I said, I'm going to prison. And whilst he was still going to the prison, he still said to the king that, King, the Lord is good. God is perfect. I feel your hearing is it. We do push a prison crown and how does the air cassette? When you may a brain in a one, I'm a boy for power. You very, very annoying. So, another day, the king went on his own this time round to the forest to hunt again. On a one, another day of poor forest to say. Bad people came over and captured him. And before we know me bad, I'm buying on a bit chicken. I'm a chain on, and I'm much a training, sir. And I'm a dinner call on my village, except on Mukokun. So they sent this king to their village. And he was going to be killed for sacrifice. But then, when they were about to kill him, when they had put him on the altar, they realized that this king had lost one of his fingers. So he was no whole. And then Tom Bekno Moon said, Nin Sabako, any whole. And Tom said, There be Sadia, Yamfan, Yadinia, any. His son said, "You become obi." I said, "The body parts in your na a wapo." So they couldn't kill him because a part of his body wasn't there. 
But then he needs to be whole before they can use him for the sacrifice. So they released him. When he has returned to the palace, he was very happy. He said, oh, indeed, it's true. The Lord has rescued me. He's protected me. So what the servant said was indeed true. And servant So he ordered the servant to be released from the prison. And to okay, said, Who are you in free prison, Homer? Now servant in a free prison by and servant nearly J. We will say king of all prison home. We will say your chicken and kipokun. But I said ye nyankupun a chicken. So the king asked the servant that, Servant, I have a question for you. God was good to me, I wasn't killed. But if God is so good, why did he allow me to put you in prison? Then the servant replied the king, My lord, my king, God allowed you to put me in prison because I would have gone with you and I would have been sacrificed because I have no missing finger. Everything God does is perfect. And God is never wrong. He knows the reason why he allowed this king to put the servant in prison so that the servant wouldn't be killed. A bread piano, you must have the bonnet be away your life, man, as a baby, a coswa, a bata, my raho, and you can see a rail. You must have COVID 19, a communipami bray, you can see this one, a communipami bra, near raho, say, oh, I didn't know God, oh, you way. The Lord allows certain things to happen so that we will see his glory. When you go to the BBC, say, yeah, you don't know the name of your When you go to the BBC, say, yeah, you don't know the He's so good to us all the time, and all the time, he's so perfect. So the moral lesson we're getting from this story is if we see bad things and sad things around us, to say 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 young school, say say in education, they say young pastor, but we shouldn't worry, but rather we should trust in God because He will be there for us all the time. Yankupon Ebeche Yesu, Enchakra, Ebesako school, Ebesaka sorry. He will be there for all of us, and nothing bad will happen to us. When everybody is not having hope in him, we will have hope in him, and we will be happy. He allows certain things to happen so that we will see his blessings. We will see his redeeming power. We will see his glory. Oh my name be see. Say I behun and nimonyam. Yeah, oh God, you bit my trust. A son say, you are good to us all the time. Because the Lord is good all the time. And all the time he is excellent. Unyamiye abrenyana. It do nyamiasu. I say or the addition. Amaye, or my young, not entire trim, say, I bring you an obey help for you. You bet my trust in because he is good all the time. When you're in coming in, not when you're in shaming in our house, and when you deem on the amen.
Amen. Thank you, Uncle Danny. That was excellent. Children, what do we say to that? That was a beautiful story. And that is really true. God is always good to us. You know, when things are bad, or when we're in a, a bad situation, it's working good. It's working towards our goodness. So we must be patient. And we must always trust in God. And we must remember his love and kindness towards us. Yes. And um, before we continue, I'm about to, um, let me remind us um, about the, inter, um, the, for the people that are interpreting. Um, if you want to listen to it in three, please press the Chinese. If you wanted to listen to it in Italian, please press the Korean. If you want to listen to it in Germany, Germany stays the same. If you like to listen to it in English, English stays the same. I'm, I'm saying three. So you say you see um you do me dear I will she want the power to your court baby and she came was here on the next day we record that well your screen is right yeah um there is interpretation interpretation you know you can see it's you know she cast him up you impress the Chinese DM you can see it's you know Italian cast him up you impress the Korean DM you can say it's you know Germany DNA German it's um it stayed the same it's now sir and sir you can see it's you know what for much to go for not so English at the whole side and sir also as we are all taking parts and we know that and I like to prompt us on it all the time if you like to send something to us and as you take um in, in taking part of it please don't forget this is the email address eggercomlive at gmail.com eggercomlive at gmail.com as we know we've had our devotion and we are going to continue this with a prayer and before we go into our prayer room children as always i'd like you to take your um get the, your folder that you've made take your pen take your pen so we have the paper write the notes in our devotion today we heard what uncle danny said it was um the bible verse was taken from psalms 100 well, verse what five psalm 100 verse five and the story was about how god is good to us all the time even in times of our trouble this servant, imagine just, just telling somebody about how good, good or how good God is because he had tested it and he see that God is good to him. So he's trying to spread it around for people to be happy to know how God is. In doing that, when the king got into trouble, what did he do? He's, he got bitten by a, a lion, his finger. One, this, he only lost one. We've got 10 fingers. The king just lost one and he got upset. He wasn't even grateful for the rest of the nine that he had, you know? He just got upset. And the more the stories, the servant got put into prison, like he wanted to do it alone. And what happened? He got captured by savages. Yes, savages. And imagine when they were just about to sacrifice him, they realized, oh, well, finger is not there. That doesn't make him perfect. No, no, no. We need to give our gods a whole. Even the, the savages know how to give the, a perfect thing for their gods. And our God Almighty, who doesn't even even care how we are, whether we, we are, we, we, we've got special needs. If we don't have special needs, he loves us more even when we are in a special need. And he's always there for us in time of trouble. And they didn't want him. That was when the king realized that God has been good to him. Because if that thing hadn't come off, he would have been what, sacrificed, gone. Yeah? And he, he didn't even stop there. The I don't, I don't even understand him. He went and released the servant. And yes, so he was telling the servant, well, why did God, and he said, oh, I'm grateful that God was good to me. But how come God let me put you to prison? You did it, shouldn't he know? But yes, though, he just want to question more. But you know what? God is always good and he's patient. He's got time for us, yeah? And he uses that as a tool. As children, we are the light bearers of God and we must show his goodness and kindness. And we will know and we will know more about God through our devotion, reading our Bible. That's why I would tell you it's important to trust more of these Bible texts and it will prompt us us to read it and it will stay in our mind. So when we go out and we meet our friends who, who don't know God, we can able to tell them about God because when we do, they're going to have more questions just like the king and we must be ready and we must have our tools and we must know our Bible verses and we must know all what God said so that we'll be able to tell them and bear that light. Yes? So please take your pen, take your papers and uh, today we've got our first Bible text. Yes? And it's from Uncle Danny, Pastor. 
and um, predict. And he said to us, well, God is always good. And don't forget our theme for today. By the end of the program, we all gonna understand how God is good in so many different ways, yes? So without further ado, we're gonna go to our prayer room. And as you know, yesterday, our prayer room took us all over the world. Yes, it was fun, it was excited. I was so impressed with all these prayers and we were all inspired. Yes, so without further ado, let's go to our prayer room in all over the world. I can't wait to see where we're gonna go. All right, let's go straight to our prayer room. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, I thank you for protecting us and protecting our families. And I thank you for not letting us get the coronavirus. And please help all, please help all the people be like Joshua, David, and Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you for that beautiful, beautiful prayers, children. It was fantastic. It was lovely. And I like how you all just tell us, telling us how God is and how God has protected us. Yes, he's been good to us. We haven't got the coronavirus. We haven't got, um, we haven't been sick. We're able to watch this program in the comfort of our own homes, in our own room, wherever we may be. We could be that we, we be driving and uh, we could be at home. We could be in the garden. In our, home, God, our own home, God has helped us and we are having our virtual account Yes, the next program, as we all love, is our show and tell. Yes, show and tell. It was fantastic and it was lovely. And let me not forget, let's take our pen and paper. Those of us that join us today, in case you don't know, after our story each day, we have show and tell the following day. So Auntie Maggie will tell us what to do at our craft station, in our craft station. And then we take all the notes. Some of us are very fast, others are slow like me. So they need to wait and go to YouTube and play it over and over again to get it right, which is fine. This is excellent, at least we can make it perfect. And then we can send it here, egacomlive at gmail.com, egacomlive at gmail.com. You can also take part in prayers, in music, in song, God loves us to sing. You can take part in it for even a memory verse, what, or even some encouragement you like to give out, that's fine. And children, I forgot to let you know, the chat is open, so we can say hello to one another, and we can get to know each other as we all one family. And don't let, let's not, let us not forget to be kind and nice to one, one another. Okay, so who know what last week, or was it last, oh, look at me, who know what yesterday's? activity was about what did we what did auntie maggie tell us to get ready to go and find so that we could make what our show and tell so enjoy she gave us all the lists 
the story that she told us, it was about who? It was about a human being and a certain bird. Yes, all birds. Yes, that's what it was all about. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen. Ooh. And then we're going to find out what they were. And we're going to see how attentive and how reverent that we all were when we were listening to the things that we needed. And when Auntie Maggie was making the craft station, what she was telling us and what we were doing. Yes. So be patient and let's go and see. I can't wait. Okay, so where are we going? This here. And I share. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to take this off. So, oh, hold on. So our, this was from yesterday. Just give a little reminder. Yesterday, we learned about what? To the God, what? This was how our show and tell for God come in the store. Okay. So our today's one is what? Is the story of Elijah and the raven. And how Auntie Maggie told us that. Oh, he showed us how to make a bird feeder because when the king was not listening and the king was disobedient, God said, you know what? No rain. You're not going to get no rain. Your crops are not going to go, or are not going to grow. You're going to be hungry. But yet still, God looked after Elijah and he made what? He made if the birds come and feed Elijah twice a day. Yes, imagine being fed by birds. So I think about it and I just can't imagine. But God is so good all the time, always. If we trust him and rely on him as we do, he will always be good to us. Yes. So that was what the story was about. So let's go and see who's our first one. And it was from Elena and Alexa from Southwest London. Yes, they are so persistent. Here we go. And that's Elena and Alexa. Getting them ready. And then that's them showing us how it looked. Look at that bird. That's beautiful, wonderful. Thank you, girls. And that's it being hanging up in the garden. Wow, that's a beautiful garden too. I can see a corn bear. Oh, lovely, lovely. Look at that thing hanging up. I bet the birds are going to be feeding on it like crazy. Thank you, girls. Our next one was from Kobe and Nea Tete. And they are from London, Ghana, SDA Church. Yes. So, hold on. Look at them. That is beautiful. So they did the one before. Like I said, children, it doesn't matter what day we have. We, when we have like three activities. So you can bring the one for Mondays, that, the story that we were told. You can bring for the one on Tuesday. It doesn't matter. You can bring it. Just do it. Take your time. If you slow like me, look, oh, you haven't seen mine yet, have you? Because I'm still making the first activity. I am so slow. So don't worry. So you can bring it anytime. And it's look at that. That's that, that one was telling us how God can calm the storm. Even in the storm, when we are scared, He's good and He's good all the time. And He tells us to be still because He's with us. And we need to remember that. So, in the midst of our storm, God is ever close to us and His arms are open and it's a calm, don't worry. And He comforts us. Yeah. And then we'll dust them again. Look at that beautiful smile. Girl, done, boys. Beautiful pillow. See? Feel like this when you sleep, you never get nightmare because you know the memory that it says, say, fear not. And it was from what Isaiah 41, verse 10. It said, Fear not, for I, Jesus, is always with us. When we sleep and we don't know what's going on and we dead asleep, God is there and He's going to give us. But sometimes sit and try. Even when we we, we kind of mistaken, mistakenly eat late, and sometimes it plays on our mind with a lot of nightmares. But God is saying, Don't worry. Just read that as we sleep and that will stay in our mind and God will be with us and we will not be fearful and our next one is from Mami T from Southwest Church Mami T from Southwest Church look at that beautiful thing that is so lovely I love that look at that look at that let me see the kind of feed is that is in there oh yes I wish I was a bird I'll be eating this up that's it thank you children and that was the end of our show and tell. Thank you, children. So our next um, program that we are on, forgive me, children, I'm trying not to make no mistake today. I'm trying. So we're going to get there. Our next one that is on is about a song. We all love music, don't we? So this is when we relax, okay? We go through our notes. 
We still need to have that first memory verse that Auntie Maggie told us. It was from Isaiah, what? 41 verse 10 said, fear not, for God is with us. And it was used throughout the whole days that we've been using. And it's so consistent. You know, God being victorious, God is always good. And, you know, God, God loves us children. So we're going to relax and listen to some music. So please, wherever you're comfortable, if you need to get some water, you need to, you need to have a break, just please listen to the music and listen to these beautiful harmonies. So it's our music time, song time. <sighs> My name is Beverly. My name is Mamati. And we're from Southwest Church. I will be saying Mommy and your order. Mommy and your order. Oh. 
professor got a over on the on the show and the road is called up yonder I began when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder, I began. On the bright and cloudless morning when the dead in crash arise, and the glory of his resurrection shall. When his choosing one shall gather to the moon beyond the sky, and the road is called up yonder, I began. When the road When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, and yeah, let us never fall that master from the doubt he said he saw. Let us talk of all his wonderful love and care. There were all And the road is called up yonder, I began. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I began. When the My name is Janelle Angel Pukupateng and the song I'm going to sing is is named Onyamia Kasa by James Mark Alma. Asem now epepem epepem Asem mawaka epepem da Onyamia Kasa Adi no peye ye Inu me ni na peye ye a sema waka, a pepim, a pepim. A sema waka, a pepim da. On your new cassa, I didn't know for ye. In the menina be ye. Wakasa, wakasa, a pepim more. In
wow, we were blessed by that song. Did you ever notice that because we're going to all over the world, our song lasts longer? We were able to relax and listen, and there were so much messages in there. And yes, children, once more again, the Holy Spirit is in control. And it's adding all those stories up, yes? because it was so lovely and they were all over the world. I think we should just acknowledge them today, yes? Yeah? So our first one came from Mami T and her big sister. And they will say what they were talking about, it was intrigued about how God is good. And it really just adds up and into what our theme is today, which is God is always good. Thank you for that, girls. And our next one was by, was it Diana? I think it was. And then she was always how God is going to prepare a place for us. And she was prompting us and saying that, Time, there is no more time is no more and it's true time is no more so we should be ready are we bearing god's light is our character telling people that oh that is a christian who is this are we telling the story not all of us can preach or talk but our character can be in the form of preaching also we had we had janelle yes no before that we had our little sister with that beautiful way he said when the trumpet sound when the role is called at Yanda, where I will be. And yes, we are going to be there. We're going to be heaven because we have been prompted by Diana before. He said, well, there's still no more time. So it's, she was telling us to be ready. And our young little sister was telling us, hey, when the role is called at Yanda, are you going to be there? And yes, we are going to be there because we've been prompted and we're going to do so because God is good all the time. And then we had Janelle. She mentioned her name so right. Did you see what she said? She said, my name is... Janelle Opoku Boateng. Yes, girl, she is here. She knows who she was. Yes. And she had a beautiful message to write. And she said, What? He said, When God speaks, everything will, shall be well. When God said so, it shall be well because God is good all the time. So, you know what? In the midst of all our storm, whatever the case may be, we should know that God is victorious. And when whatever God says so, it will be well. And if this our storm is so difficult and the trouble, whatever it, it is, it's for our own good. It's preparing us. It's for our own good. So we should be patient. Not like that king in our devotion story who was not patient, but we must be and be still. Yes, and know that God is what is good. And then we had Isabella and, and Davina, and they said the law was a shelter in the time of storm. They also prompt us. Whatever the case might be, the case may be. We should know that God, when things are just difficult and it's just confused, we're all talking about coronavirus and we are, some of us are scared, some of us are confused, we're not going to school, things are happening. In, in the storm of all that, God said, well, we should, he's given us a shelter and that shelter is, as we all know, we are alive. Millions have died, millions have been infected, but even if we have, our could have was what, a mild one, we are fine. We are alive, so we have to praise him and we have to let people know how good God is. God has been good to us, children, so let's praise him. And then we have the, our, um, the last one was by the two sisters, and they were telling us that God, we should steadfast, but God will help us to go to heaven. So today, we've heard a lot, and there were so much messages in the song. Thank you, girls. It was beautiful. All right. Our next is a story time. Yes. All right. So, have you all taken your pen and your paper? And do you know what email to send it to? Egacom what? Live at gmail.com. Egacom live at gmail. Yes, Miss Gina, I can see you lovely at gmail.com. So please let me know that you are listening. Yes. And it's the story time. So everybody can put in the chat and say story time, story time, story time, press it, story time. So we go to our lovely Auntie Maggie. And Auntie Maggie is going to tell us that we all knew what yesterday's story was about, wasn't it? Elijah. And the raven. So I wonder what story do you have? Do you know what story we have today? I'm wondering, but we don't need to wonder no more because she's right here. Let's go to Auntie Maggie with our story time, children. So story time with Auntie Maggie. Hello everyone, I am so happy you came back again today. How are you all? I know you are all strong and healthy. I am very happy to see you again. And again, I hope you have been enjoying the stories. Well, do you remember what we learned yesterday? Very good. Should we go over our memory text? 
Yes, just a minute, that is free. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all you do for us and thank you that we can learn about you again today. Please open our hearts, open our minds and give us understanding of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, our memory text. Where is it found? Can you remember? Okay. Well done you, well done you. And it's found in Isaiah 41 verse 10. And it says, Fear not, for I am with you. That is God's promise to us, that we should never fear because he is always with us. Well, today's story is about two kings. Yes, who does a king wear? Mm, yes, a king wears a crown. Yes. Well, we will learn about two kings, as I said. One is called King Uzziah. And King Uzziah was made king when he was very, very young. And then he listened to God doing everything that he was told and everything that God wanted him to do. But when he became older, he stopped listening, which is really bad. He stopped listening. And do you know what happened to him one day? He went into the temple to burn incense, but he was not supposed to do that. The priest told him, but he didn't listen. Really bad, he never listened. But you know what happened? God wasn't very happy with him. So he had leprosy. Hmm, that was really sad. God wants us to listen to him all the time. The name of the other king is called King Josiah. King Josiah and he was made king when he was very little. I guess he was as old as one of you listening to me. He was eight years old, yeah, eight years old when he was made king. He was such a little boy but he promised to God that he was going to do everything right and he did. He listened to the elders, he did everything. And one good thing that Josiah did was to rebuild the temple of God. And as they were trying to fix the temple, they discovered something really important. They found a scroll. And this was an important scroll. And they brought it to the king. And the king asked someone to read it to him. And as he listened, as he listened, he learned about what God wanted all the people, his people to be doing. And so Josiah made a request that he should bring in everybody, everyone to come in. So they gathered at one place. And when they got it, the scroll was read again. And as they read it, and read it, and finished reading it, King Josiah promised God that he would do everything that was said in the scroll. And the people agreed. Josiah was such a good king. He loved the Lord and obeyed his word. He served God with all his life, his heart, all the days of his life. I believe that you would like to be like the good king or the bad king. Which one? Josiah or Uzziah? I believe that you all would like to be like Cain, Josiah, who listened to God every day. And God was with him. 
Should we do our memory text again? Isaiah 41 verse 10. And it says, Fear not, for I am with you. God's promise to us is that he's always going to be with us. But that doesn't mean we should do the wrong thing. God wants us to be obedient and listen to him and he will always be with us. Shall we pray? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for speaking to our hearts. We thank you for the lesson that we've just learned. Help us to be obedient to you always. Help us to be like King Josiah who listened. And Lord, may you always be with us and may you help us to do the right thing and make the right choices every day. Amen. Thank you all for listening and I will see you again soon. Bye. Wow, children, that was a beautiful, beautiful story. Auntie Maggie never disappoint us. She always told the story beautifully. Thank you, Auntie Maggie, for that wonderful and beautiful story. And get what that story was telling us. As children, we listen. Yes, they, well, their younger king, he was an obedient. He was very obedient, wasn't he? He kept his promise, children. When we sin or when we do something wrong and we say, dear Jesus, forgive us, we must keep our promise. And even when we don't, and as we are growing up and we read all this Bible and we keep saying, Lord, I'm going to be good. We have to keep that promise because God is good to us all the time. What happened to the bad king? Leprosy? Ooh, for not listening. So children, if our adults are not listening sometime and they are not being obedient, because we are always good and we know how to be good, we can help them sometimes. Yes? Yes. All right, children, that was beautiful and that was wonderful story. So let's not know that we should always be good and we should listen to what God says. Because God is good and God will want us to obey him. That's all he's want us for. And obeying it is good for us. You know how it's good for us? Because when we listen to God and we do what God says, the Satan can never come near to us. And Auntie Maggie help us to understand that. So let's know in any time we in two minds. We don't know. Shall we? Shall we not? Ooh, when we're in that two minds, let's remember the story that Auntie Maggie told us. She said, King Josiah was good and he kept his promise to God. So we must also try and keep our promise and that will help us and it will lead us to our salvation and we will go to heaven. Yes, we will. Thank you, Auntie Maggie, once again. Now, I'm going to go on about interpretation again. For those of us interpret in interpreting, yes, 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 interpretation, those who are translating, Yes. If we want to listen to it in three, please let's press the Chinese. If you like to listen to it in Italian, let's press the Korean. If you like to listen to it in Germany, Germany stays the same. If you like to listen to it in English, English the same. And I'm going to say it in three because worldwide, and we're Ghanaians, and even if we're not. So, yeah, yeah. 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 You <laughs> Yes, it stayed the same in the middle. It stayed the same. And you see, that's it. So let me go through it again. If we listen to it in three, Chinese, Italian, Korean, German, German, English, English. Thank you very much. And without further ado, children, it's time for our craft station. Yes, craft station. Yes, yes, yes. And don't worry, if your show and child is late, please. Please, 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 don't worry, bring, keep, keep them coming. You do so wonderfully well. And in saying so, I'll say something at the end about our show and tell. I think we might need to support the older ones. Yes, we need to support the older ones in their show and tell. Remember what the story tell us? As children, we're very obedient. Yes, and we like to help. We're very helpful. 
adventure law tells us we should be helpful, we should be kind, that's what we need to support them. So without further ado, I just can't wait to see once more again. I always, I always can't wait to see how Auntie Maggie turned the stories into beautiful activity. What activity is she going to make us do now? Two kings? What do you think it's going to be? Do you know? Yes. Let's go to our show. And not show and tell. <laughs> I tested you later. I'm going to say show and tell. No, it's not. It's time to go to our craft station. Yes. Let's go to our craft station. Hello everyone, good to see you again. Do you remember the story that you learned? The king, the two kings, King Uzziah and King Josiah. Well, today's activity is a bit fun and interesting and I would like you to do it what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a crown and i've got cereal box i've got some of these bubbles okay so i can stick on the crown i've got this pipe cleaner i've got glue I've got scissors okay so let's see what are we going to do so if you've got your cereal box just take that bit off. Okay, then we can cut our crown. So we're going to cut this bottom bit off. Remember, you need an adult to help you do this. Okay, because scissors can be harmful. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just cutting it in half. Okay, cut in half. And then I'll cut one end off. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, we are going to use the white side, not this side, okay? So once I fold it again, and I'm going to make these zigzag designs. Okay, so we go that way, and then that way. Okay, if you find it tricky, get an adult to help you, okay? And then you go that way, okay? And then we do another one. And that's our crown actually. That's all done. Okay, so what you would need to do once you finish decorating it, go around your head, see if it fits, then you can sellotape that bit and that will be your crown. Before you wear it, why don't we design it? Okay, so I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to use different colors, okay? So I'll put all this away, tidy up. Let's put them all together because I'm not going to use this anymore. I right, will put that away, okay? And I'm going to put these. Right, I know you can be very creative. You don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it. But whatever you've got at home, use it to design your crown. Okay, so you've got different colors. You can use cereal, you can color it. And then we can use that. Okay. All right, so that sticks. And then you leave it to dry. some gold paper. I'm going to cut some strips and I'll use it to decorate it. Okay. Once again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can do create your own design. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do. I know you can be very creative. Okay. Right, so where should I stick this? Okay, I can stick it that way, yes. Okay. Remember our memory text? Where does it say? Fear, fear not, for I am with you. And where is that found? Isaiah 41 verse 10, very good. Jesus says we should fear not because he is with us. Jesus is always with you and he will always take care of you. Okay. So once you're done, send your pictures so we can show it off during our show and tell. Okay. 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 One more. Yes, one more. You can put as many decorations as you want, and that is going to be really cool. So. I can put one more, one more of that. Okay. And you can put different colors. So we put another red. Crown is done. 
That's it. So once you, you leave it to dry, okay, once it's dry, you can measure it, use a sedative to hold it. And that is your crown done. Okay, I hope you like it. But I look forward to seeing yours, okay? Well done for listening. And your other activity for today will be not just to be make a crown. You are going to dress up as a king or a queen. And once you dress up, take a photo, get your adult to take a picture of you, send it so we can use it for show and tell. Okay? Thank you for listening and God bless you. Remember Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Well done for listening. And send your pictures in again. Goodbye and God bless you. Wow, children, that was beautiful. I can't wait. We're going to dress up like a king and a queen. Yes, we're going to dress up and that crown. I don't know. It takes me so long to do that, but I'm going to see. But we'll remember the things that we need, children. Yeah, and before I, we are going to resources, I'll put it in my chat in case you want to see it. Or if you are slow as me, as I always keep saying, because I am slow, um, if you go to the YouTube, Egocom Live, go to YouTube, type Egocom Live. You can see our program for today. So you can always listen to it or you can watch Auntie Maggie Craft Station as many times as you want. If you like me, when I go there, this is how I am. So honestly, seriously, I'm like, she talk one, I'm like, I pause. So I'm like, if I'm writing the, the list like for today, I would be going like crown, a cereal box, pause, glue, pause, scissors, pause. I am very, 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 very slow. That is why you have not seen my activity in the show and tell you. But I think tomorrow might benefit me. Do you know why? Because of the dress up. Yes, it might. I don't know. But I will see. I'm still slow anyway. So we see how it goes. So before we go on, that's the email for you guys. Egacom live at gmail.com. Egacom live at gmail.com. And then as always, before we when we finish while we are waiting for the older lot we're always going to replay auntie maggie story time or auntie maggie craft station so that we are prompted and we hear all this lovely music so don't forget and it's been so wonderful i'm coming to the end of it children unfortunately yes i don't know where the time went and how fast it's been thursday already 13th august wow god is good He's been so good to us. Yes, always. Let's not forget. And today, before we go, we're going to end with our Bible verse from Psalm 105, verse 9. Psalm 105, verse 9. It says, the Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has, over all that he's made. So he's got his mercy and joy over all that he's made. Guess what? Me and you were made in what? God's image. So always, forever. And I like the way all in the memory verses talk, it always, forever, everlasting. It's, like it's never ended, infinity. It will go on from our children, our children's children. He's good to us. And let's be good to God back, okay? If somebody say hello, we say hello back. So God, all that God wants us to do is what? To be good to others and be like him. Yes? So that's it. And before we go, the email address again. And we're going to repeat it so you don't have time to listen to it. And what I was saying in regard to helping our oldest one out, please. We enjoy our programs as well. We are privileged because we get to join them too. So it's not really fair that we would enjoy it and get all those good advice. They've been giving us advice about friendship, advice about how to look after the environment. Yes. And, and, and advice about 
being proud of who we are. Yes, whoever we are, we're special. We are unique. God made us. They said, all that. I've learned a lot, and I hope you have too. And you're taking, you're adding all those notes up. So we get privileged to be in our own primary lesson, and then we we go to the junior ones, to the park ones. We get to go to the ADS. We do, but it's only fair that we support them in their activities. So when we are told to go and draw something about the environment and recycling, we all learned about recycling yesterday. And what's important that we separate them, the food that we eat, the loaf, the well, we don't just don't mix it. We put in a compost one and the recycling, the carbon, the, I, I wrote them now, I couldn't even say it, but you know what they said, yes. We separate them, the one that, and then bottles, I never knew bottles, we just, they, they don't, not, they last forever and ever and ever. Jeez, man. And sometimes we buy, and we saw in their devotion how the animals, the planet that we were not so kind to our planet and some people put stuff in there and the animals are eating and they kill them. So we learn a lot. So please let's take part in their show and tell, okay? In the activities. So when we ask, please do it and send it to the email as well. Egocomlive at gmail.com. Egocomlive at gmail.com. We can do it children because we are so good. We are so good at listening and we are so good at keeping our promise. So we can do ours, our, our show, show and tell and then we can get you to be there too. Okay, because we have more time. Let's do it and let's support them. That's what we are all here for. Okay, and let's make the program great. So thank you for having me today. It's been a lovely and lovely and it's been enjoyable. Okay, so I say thank you for our devotion, which was taken, was given to us by Pastor Daniel Ampadu, Uncle Danny, he called himself. See, he loved one of us, our uncle. Yes, it was beautiful about that kin store, the, the, the unpatient kin. Exactly, and how God loves him so much, but he was so quiet and going on. Oh, my one finger. Oh, you've got nine. Be grateful. And at the end, he saw what God was trying to do for him and how God loved him. And God, everything, all the bad thing that happened to him, it was to preparing him to save him for a bigger danger that was coming. That devotion was beautiful. So thank you, Pastor. It was lovely. And then we had our prayers. Our prayer was lovely said by so many of us. We had loads of prayers and thank you. It was beautiful and it was telling us how not to worry about coronavirus and all that. We had a lovely prayer. Yes, and we had what? We had our show and tell. You all did well about the bird feeder. We all listened to Auntie Maggie's story that she, she told us about Elijah and the raven. Yeah, so we had to make bed feeder and you did it fantastically and some of us brought our um other activity that we had to catch up on and that was nice hello esther buddy how are you doing love and that was nice yes and then we went on to what oh we went on to our song oh today's song was oh it's, it's good that we're going all over the world so so the song was lovely lovely it encouraged us god is our what our shelter in time of storm you might there's a storm that everything is moving and it's going and yes so god gives you a shelter we stay still and we calm. We don't care about what's going on around us because we're cool. This is how God did for Elijah. The, the rain stopped. People were hungry, but he was getting fed. Yes, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And that's we heard on a Tuesday lesson when the, the, the disciple was in the, what, in the boat and the storm was coming and they were getting scared. God goes, hey, tell the storm and the sea, hey, my friend, calm down, be still. And he was still. God calms it. The same way, and then we've been learning so much, and which you I hope you're being getting encouraged. So please let's put them and we say thank you to all those that gave us the beautiful song. And we said thank you always to our Auntie Maggie. What would we do with that, Auntie Maggie? Thank you so much for your story today and for the craft station. It was lovely, it was beautiful. You're all gonna go. See, we get to dress up, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we're not going to school, we don't know book day or this day we need to go um history um. And what he, history day, and we need to dress up as well. Today we get to dress up in our own, and this is where what we learn from the older one. We are unique about our culture. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait. I don't see what I'm gonna cook. What I'm gonna wear. Hmm. So that was beautiful. Thank you very much. And as usual, it is a pleasure. It's an honor that I, I get to sit here and host you and talk you through the programs. And we just. And most of all the Holy Spirit comes and takes control. Thank you very much. And it's time for us to go. Got the older one again ready to come. And we need a break. It's an hour and a half we've been sitting here. It's about time we stretch a bit and let the blood flow. And if we need to have breakfast, have something to eat, whatever they did, we they haven't done, we get to, um, get to do it. Some of us need to have devotion as a family worship. 
Yes, we all need to do that. So we're going to be having time for that break, and which will be in for 30 minutes. So whichever country you are, 30 minutes, okay? And then we come back and support the older one with Uncle Kennedy. Uncle Kennedy and Uncle Nee and Auntie Hannah. Yes, our lovely, I love the thing they teach us, yes? So that will be, so shall we pray? Merciful God, we thank you for fun activity packed throughout the week and today. Thank you for all the things that you've done for us, Father Jesus, and for helping us that you are good to us all the time. And we must be patient in the time of our storm, in time of our trouble, we should be still and you there for us. And we thank you for prompting us and making us aware that you love us so much and you're good all the time. It doesn't matter what we do, what we do, you are good to us, Father Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for a beautiful day today. And as we go our way, dear Lord, guide us, bless us, and bring us back again today so we can have a nice activity. Thank you for Egocom family and thank you this for this virtual car meeting 2020 and for this children program. In that merciful name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, children. That's it for today. And we're going to come back tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Is that My name is Beverly. My name is Mamati. And we're from Southwest Church. I will be saying Mommy and your order. Mommy and your order. Yeah, I
Let us talk of all his wonderful love and care. The way all of life is over and I walk on head is done. And the road is called up yonder, I begin. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up when the road is called up yonder, I begin. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I begin. Young Kuto, my name is. Janelle Angel Pukupateng and the song I'm going to sing is is named Onyamia Kasa by James Mark Alma. I said, my work up, a pipim, a pipim. I said, my work up, a pipim, da. On your I didn't know the ye, and you made me not be ye. Wakasa, 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 a pipim, and you made me not be ye. On your I didn't know be ye ye, and you made me know be ye ye. Wakasa, 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 e be be mo, and you made me know be ye ye. Onya onya kasa, I didn't know be ye ye, and you made me know be ye ye, and you made me know be ye ye. And you may not be ye, 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 and you may not be ye. Isabella and Davina. We're going to be singing hymn number 528. <laughs> Seek your motive, 
Shelter in the 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all? And welcome to another session of Junior Hour here at Egercom Live E Virtual Camp Meeting. It's a privilege to be here once again. My name is Uncle Kennedy, and I'm going to be with you for the next an hour and a half. So I hope that you've been having fun. You've been learning a lot of new things over this coming, over the virtual camp meeting that we've been having. Sadly, today is Thursday. I'm having so much fun that I really don't want this to end. It's such a shame that today's Thursday, then Friday, and then Saturday, we are done. It's such a shame. I wish CAM meeting can go on for two weeks or three weeks. So if you want CAM meeting to go longer than one week, tell your parents to tell their pastors so that they can make CAM meeting longer. Um, thank you so much again for, for joining me. If you are in Germany, let me say you say hi. Then wave and let me say you say hi. Thank you, Rudolf. R Rolf, thank you so much. And if you are in Belgium, let me see you say hi. Let me see you say hi. Hi, okay. If you're in France, let me see you say hi. France, let me hear you say, let me see you say hi. Okay, thank you so much. And if you're in Holland, Holland, let me see you say hi. Thank you so much. In Ghana, do you have anybody from Ghana? Yes, we do. So let's say hi to them. Thank you so much for, um, for joining us. And for the rest of the world, apart from UK, rest of the world thank you so much and then finally 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 we have uk so if you're in england wales scotland northern Ireland, let me hear you let me see you say hi hi welcome 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 thank you so much for joining us all the time before we start can we yes aaron thank you so much god bless you for joining us right let's bow our heads and let's pray dear heavenly father we thank you so much for being with us this morning. We thank you so much for waking us up into a brand new day. The sun is out, the sun is shining, uh, we are breathing. There's so much for us that for us to be grateful for. And Father, we are internally grateful. We thank you so much that although we couldn't be together, we can still be together virtually and still worship and praise you. So we just want to say thank you. We commit the program ahead into your hands. We pray that whatever we do, we say, be acceptable in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. All right, so today the program is going to roll like this, okay? It's the same as it's been before. We're going to have our devotion, then we'll have our song service, then we have our show and tell, and then we're going to go to our prayer room, and then we're going to go to Uncle Ni nee and Auntie Hannah. They've got something special for us, a little bit about that later on. But for now, I'd like to introduce a very good uncle of mine. He's one of my favorite uncles, and today he's going to give us the morning devotion is none other than my own uncle, Uncle Kinsley, who is now known as Uncle Elder Kinsley. And he's going to give us our devotion this morning. So sit back and children, I'd like you to listen very carefully because I'm going to ask you questions after that. And then I expect you to be able to answer them in the chat on YouTube or right here on Zoom. So thank you so much. And I'm now going to hand over to my very own uncle, Uncle Elder Kinsley. Uncle Kingsley, over to you. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to today's devotion. Today is Thursday and fourth day into the 2020 virtual camp meeting. For those who don't know me, I know many of you can recognize the face. However, for those who don't know me, my name is Kingsley Azarek Bidiako from London Ghana Church. 
I'll be doing your devotion for today. Let us thank God, continue to thank God that we are able to worship him, even though we might not meet face to face, but through his wisdom and social media, we can still continue to worship and reach out to the millions around the world. Let us say a prayer before we go on to our devotion. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to come before you, to study your word and to be talked to. Please speak to us so that when we leave here today, we will be a new person and our life will reflect the love that you have for the world. Let us be a vessel to the entire world. Bless us today and forevermore. We ask you in your son's name, through the Holy Spirit, we say, Amen. Thank you again, boys and girls. Today's title or snap, the story that I'm going to share with you is entitled, Stop, Think and Check. And I hope that you will be able to understand why I've chosen this strap line. My devotion is based on Daniel chapter three, the whole of that chapter. Because of time, we're not going to read it, but um, I will encourage you to read it in your spare time. Find some time, find some time to read it with your friends, with your parents, and deliberate on the whole of the chapter. However, we're going to just concentrate, just for the devotion, concentrate on chapter eight, verse 18. Let me give you a few seconds to turn with me, Daniel chapter three, verse 18. It reads, but if not, which means, if you don't know, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve the gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. These are the words from the Jewish boys saying to King Nebuchadnezzar that they will not bow down to pressure to worship the gods. They will not worship the golden image that the king has put up. They were sold as slaves to King Nebuchadnezzar. But the young folks, the young Jewish boy did not stand up to pressure to devalue what they know in order to worship the image that King Nebuchadnezzar have made. The short story of our own story is that they stood high. They did not bow down to pressure. And when they were cast into the fairy finance, Jesus stood with them. And they came out without the spot. And through that, they were made as leaders, as kings, of the kingdom. This relates to how today we've been enslaved by social media. Social media is now in the center of whatever that we do. To name a few, I'm sure many of you either have a WhatsApp, a Facebook or YouTube, or Snapchat, or Instagram, or Twitter. Have you ever thought of what you tweet? Have you ever thought the impact that what you read or what you send out will have on the millions? Through social network, whatever we do can reach out to millions. But have you ever stopped to think and check what you are tweeting or retweeting, what you are reading or what you are sending out, the impact that it will make on millions that they will be reading it. Social media can be used in a positive way. Now, let me give you an example how social media can also destroy uh, people. It reminds me of a company called Saudi Aramco. Now, Saudi Aramco is a company which is state owned by the Saudi Arabia government. They are the largest producer of oil. They supply oil to the whole entire world. 
they have a roughly about 50,000 employees. However, this company is 10 times bigger. Their revenue is 10 times bigger than Apple. Their revenue is roughly $335 billion. I repeat, $335 billion. But one day, one of their employee received an email. Not knowing what the email would do, he clicked on the link that was an email. And today we refer to that as malware. Many of us will receive an email that is dangerous. But today I'm just telling you, reminding you to stop, think and check whatever you are reading or what you are about to click. Within a few seconds after the employee clicking on the link, the whole of the IT systems, the whole of the data store of this company was wiped out. Now let's just relate to what if this had happened to your parents. Imagine you receive you using a home computer or even your laptop or your phone and you receive an email and you click on a link on it which someone sitting somewhere in the world can get access onto your phone or your computer and go into your parents' accounts, either your mom or your dad, and wipe out all their savings. Can you imagine what will happen to you? Your parents, your mom or your dad that you rely on to get money to buy you your trainers, to buy you your clothing. Imagine if their accounts were wiped out within a second. That's a negative way that social media can have on us. Have you ever thought of what you read, the fashion, what you see, the pictures on social media, what it will have on you? Social media can actually wipe away the youth individuality. Social media can have an impact on us. Now, let me also share with you a positive way how social media can be used. A story is told in the midnight, early hours of the day, a boy went onto Facebook to put on his page that he is about to commit suicide. He was fed up with world. He thought no one loves him. So in a few seconds, he was going to commit suicide. But luckily enough, someone on the other side of the world saw this message and he was able to talk this guy through that even if his family, even if he's not loved by his mate at school, there is someone who loves him. Someone up there, Jesus, who loves him. No matter what he is going through, Jesus can take, or Jesus can take control of that. Within, from just what the guy sent through Facebook, this person who was about to kill himself, decided that no, this is not for me. I'm not doing it anymore. And because of that, he was saved. Are you ready to stand tall like what Shadrach, Mizak, and Abednego stood not to stand to pressure? They refused, they actually stopped, think and check against their values. They were not forced under pressure to bow down to the golden image. Now, my question to you, how are you using social network? Do you stop? Do you actually think of what you are tweeting? And do you check against what you believe in? Are you ready to stand tall like the boys, are you ready to stand with Jesus? Now, I want you to take a moment to think about this, to pray in your head and to think about whatever from now, what you will be reading, what you will be seeing, what will you be tweeting, what you'll be receiving. Are you ready to stop, to think and check against the values that been given to you by your parents, been given to you through the Bible, through church. I hope this will change 
the way you see social media or social network. Thank you and let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this message. We thank you once again for reminding us, yes, we, we have we've been enslaved by social media. However, we can make positive ways. We can reach out to millions of people through a positive way, through of what we share or what we treat via social network. Let the world see you in us. Let us make a positive impact on the millions of emails that we tweet or we send, of the millions of texts that we send out through WhatsApp, through Snapchat. Father, be with us and let us be a true Christians and show the world how loved you are, how precious you are. And we will also be saved. Our names will be written in the book of life. We ask you in your son's name once again. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Uncle Elder Kinsley. Now, most of you are wondering why I call him Uncle Elder Kinsley, because I have known Uncle Kinsley for a very long time since I was a little boy, and I've always known him to be an uncle. He's an uncle to me. And very and about three years ago, he became an elder. So I have to call him now Elder Uncle Elder Kinsley. So thank you so much for that wonderful a message. Now, I know we use internet a lot because at the moment, we are now using internet, aren't we? Because we're using social media, YouTube, to be able to um, to communicate. So get your pens, get your pencils, get your, no, not your pencils, get your typing, I'm getting your typing fingers ready because I'm going to ask you a few questions and I expect you to answer them in the chat button, both on YouTube and also on Facebook, on YouTube and then here on Zoom. So are you ready? The question is, first question is what was the chapter the book and the chapter that elder was using in a sermon what was the what was the elder what was the chapter the elder was using in a sermon okay i want well done answers are coming in well done well done i can see them yes yes it was daniel chapter okay i'm going to wait for a while for people to type it in, I'm going to give you just five seconds. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the answer was Daniel chapter 3, verse 16. It was Daniel chapter 3. I was a chapter, and to be specific, it was 16. Now, what was the message at the end? What did uncle wanted us to to take away so what was the message there was three things there was three snapshots it was for you to do something do something and then do something so now yes somebody has said it in yes that's the first one yes thank you so much gloria and bless thank you so much dave and family you were listening very well thank you Yes, yes, Gloria and bless. Well done. Well done. Yes, the answer was I'm going to give five, four, three, two, one. Stop. The answer was, was stop, think, and check. Now, the last one, this is very easy. I'd like you to name me three social medias that, three, um, three social medias that Uncle talked about. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to type three social medias that uncle talked about. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's coming in. Well done. Everybody's coming in. Can I check on YouTube? Anybody tapping on YouTube? Okay. 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 So, yes, you guys are coming in. Well done. So there's Twitter. Well done. There's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's Snapchat, there's YouTube, there's um, WhatsApp, there's Facebook, there's LinkedIn, um, if, there's a whole lot. TikTok, not forgetting TikTok, you guys use TikTok quite a lot. That's also, um, that's also social media as well. 
So well done, well done, well done. Now, now that we've done our devotion, it is not time for my favorite part of the show. In fact, my first favorite part of the show, and it's show and tell. Okay, we have some wonderful drawings coming in, and I'm kind of excited. I like to show you because this one I think is just amazing. Okay, so let's do a show and tell. Are we ready? So the first one, it's from Carwin. Can you all see the screen? Yes, it's from Carwin. And she has divided her printer into two, her print into two. The first half is what happens when we do not look after our environment. So there's a lot of pollution coming from the factory. There's litters all the way on the floor. Everything is just, there's no greens, nothing because we spoiled everything. Even the sun had changed color. However, if we look after our environment, this is what we're going to take in part is when we have a lovely green field with trees, um, trees growing with different kinds of food, with clean pond and fresh air we can breathe in. So thank you so much, Karen from South West London, Ghana. I'm, I'm Southwest Ghana. Thank you so much for that. The next one is from Blessing Again. It's from Blessing Again. And Blessing is saying that this is what we should do to, um, to recycle. It says that things that we are doing to break the earth, we are littering, we are not recycling, we are polluting, there's deforestation. Well done, that's a very big word, but Belinda, Deforestation is that we're cutting all the trees in the forest to make chairs and stuff like that that we use every day. Plastic bags everywhere. We are leaving the light on even when we are not in the room. Wasting paper, leaving the tap on running. That's all the things that we do at home that are spoiling our planet. However, these are some of the things we could do to change our planet to help save our planet so we could be recycling, using less plastic so we can use those re reusable bags that we use when we go shopping. Um, turning the light off when you're not being used on, when we don't even need it, light can be turned off. Revisiting, reusing plastic bags and bottles. In a Ghanaian household, I think we can say that we're pretty good at that. You go into the fridge and you, you see an ice cream tub and you think there's ice cream in there, you open it, you find out that there's stew in there. Very disappointing. But I think we do a lot of recycling. I'm sure your parents have a cupboard where when you open it, you see all plastic bags from different shopping. Yeah, so we do we, we do reuse those things as well. So we buy things with less plastic packaging. Well done, um, Belinda Champon. Thank you so much for sharing. And the last one, comes from blessing okay why is it not moving okay um just bear me one minute i don't know what happened there okay so let's try that one more time okay i've got it now so let's share it one more time so this one is from Blessing. This is a very beautiful poster. I think this is one of the best posters that we have seen today. It's really, really beautiful. And this is from Blessing, um, who is a member of, her name is Blessing. So sorry, I forgot, Blessing. Anna Hansen Amwako, and she drew this lovely picture. Thank you so much. May God continue to bless you. And thank you so much for sending all your, um, 
she's saying that she's learned a lot today about taking care of our environments, especially the seas in our ocean. She's also learned about recycling and general waste. We take home two words that what she takes home to us is biogradable and non-biogradable. And she's explained that biodegradable are things that can be decomposed. As some example, food waste are vegetables and fruit pills, chicken and dead plants, and many more. Non and she went on and said, non-biogradable uh, things cannot be decomposed. Um, things that include like plastic bags, metal, aluminum cans, ties, and many more. And she's saying that she she's really enjoying the, um, the lesson and that may God bless Uncle Ni nee and Auntie Hannah for teaching her those things. So thank you so much, blessing. May God go from Lee's church. She is from Lee's church. So thank you so much. God bless you. Keep sending in your pictures and your description, and I'll do my best to read it out for you. So today's activity, there's going to be another activity. When you get that, please share it in, and then we'll be able to share your work. Thank you so much. I've really, I've enjoyed that. So thank you, Karen. Thank you, Blessing, and thank you, Belinda. Thank you so much. Now we're going to go to our prayer room. And this time around, we're not going to fly anywhere. I, I'm going to go to different places I don't even know. So it's going to be all over the world. The prayers are going to come from all over the world. So I'd like you to find a quiet room, a quiet spot. And whilst the prayers is going on, I will ask you to also bend down, go on your knees, and also talk to God, because I know that he will answer our prayers. So let us pray. Grazie per il giorno che sei nei cieli, grazie per quello che ci hai fatto in questa giornata, aiuta tutti, aiuta tutti quelli che stanno bene, aiuta tutti i medici, gli infermieri, tutti quelli che non hanno lavoro, aiuta tutti gli anziani, i più deboli, aiuta tutte le persone che hanno perso i loro cari, aiuta tutti, grazie per questa giornata che ci hai fatto, grazie di tutto, amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Enosei Bonsu Bachedankwa and I'm from Fakno and welcome SDA Church. I'm coming to pray. Let's bow our heads. Heavy Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for blessing us. As this coronavirus has came into destroying our lives, Bless us, protect us. Help those who are in trouble. Help those who are in need. Stop this coronavirus from happening. In the Jesus name we pray, amen. Jesus, please bless everybody. Let all the children not get coronavirus. Please let them be safe in Jesus name, amen.
Amen. Thank you so much for the wonderful prayers and also for the song at the end. May God bless you as you continue to pray and to give thanks to him. We're now coming to our song service. So get your singing voices on, get your hands clapping on, get ready as we sing to praise God. So get ready and please join in, join in the singing and also join in the praising God because God has done so much for us. So it's now time to lift up our voices and let's see what our juniors have prepared for us today. So thank you so much. Hello, my name is Lady Gabriella Bochidampa. I am from Bracknell Workingham, Ghana, SDO Church. Today, I'll be singing Mama Kuma and Tutu. Mama Kuma and Tutu, a Christ of way. Munye Jidi, every say in Yami, your tomb. O Shaji, Nina. Samu mama kuma en tutu Mama kuma en tutu Mama kuma en tutu Mama kuma en tutu Cause yes, yeah, baby, I'm a yenina. Oh, cause yes, yeah, baby, I'm a yenina. Yes, a crystal, what in a baby? One in Jeffy, one in Jeffy, my one, I'm a genie. Say, Yesu, Abushanima, 
thank you so much for the beautiful songs, the recitals, the, oh, it was just amazing. Forget Britain Got Talent, forget American Got Talent, forget X Factor. This is Egercom Has Talent. Egercom Has Talent. Thank you so much. Please continue to send in your wonderful songs, your piano recitals, um, ukulele, whatever instrument that you play, feel free to record yourself and send it to this email address, egacomlife at gmail.com. So feel free to send in your recordings to us and we will play them for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. May God continue to bless you. Now, it is now time for our discussions with Uncle Nee and Auntie Hannah. Today, we're looking at a very important topic, which is affecting a lot and lot of young people at your age, social media. Now, as, as Uncle said, we are all on social media at one point. We're on social media right now. We are using social media. And just as anything that can be used for good can also be used for bad. So we need to be able to stay safe and so that especially when we're on the internet, we need to know, um, your parents really need to know what you're doing and also be able to keep you safe. Just as when we go to sleep, we lock our door, we also need to do the same thing on the internet. So please sit back and listen to this very important discussion and I hope that you learn something from it. So I'm now going to hand over to Uncle Nee and Auntie Hannah, who is gonna go through with us social media. How do we use social media? Over to you, Uncle Ni nee and Auntie Hannah. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kitty boobs and kitty babs, all of you. Good morning, everyone. From wherever you're watching us from, from home in Germany, we say good morning. Alles klar, how are you? If you're watching us uh, from Italy, we say buongiorno, uh, come stai? If you're watching us from France, we say bonjour. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 how are you? I've, I've actually forgotten how to say how are you in French. Uh, oh, it will come. Uh, no, that's Italian. No, that's what I mean. You see, we're struggling. All right. I uh, know someone needs to teach me that one. All right. Anyway, I hope, guys. I hope we're all very, very well. We had a good sleep. It is actually Thursday. Wow, the week has gone so quick. We have had a great time with you, and uh, we believe we believe you've also had a a good time with us. Um, so after today, there's going to be one more day with us. Um, our wonderful friends here. We've got. Uh, Queenie is there, Nat is there, Emmanuel is with us, and Zarel is with us. Um, who's next? Lady Julia, who's there? Oh, yes. Desire is also here, and Isabella. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, hello. Right. Today we're going to discuss something that is very. Someone is talking. Our friends are watching you. We're gonna discuss something that's very, very important to us. And this is something that we need to be aware of. Some of us are aware of it, some of us are not aware, because what we're going to talk about is some, some dangers out there, something that is so close to us but yet so dangerous. And we really want to open our eyes and open our minds to some of these dangers that surrounds us and how to, to protect ourselves, how to deal with some of these issues, okay? So our topic, actually the theme today, 
And if you were in the devotion, I'm sure you realize that the theme for today is the internet and you, the internet and you. And our focus for this lesson, we want to focus, we want to look at social media, how we use social media, the dangers about social media, and actually, you know, the dangers about the internet, okay? So it's, it's, it's very, very important. So I want you to sit tight. I want you to be very, very attentive. If you need a cup of tea, you better grab one really, really quick and get yourself in that sofa because uh, you don't want to miss one piece, okay? So by the end of today, we want to be able to know how to evaluate, okay? To evaluate the dangers of using social media. That's our first objective. And our second objective is for us to know how to stay safe online. How to stay safe online. So let's have a look at this. Have a look at what's on the screen and tell me, what is it? Let's pretend I have no knowledge of this. What is it? What do you use it for? How important is it to you? Tell me, tell your brother, tell your sister, and I'll come back to you. Uh, actually, no, Kwame, tell me, what do you think? What is that? Okay, never heard of it. Okay, let's get some ideas from our friends here with us. Emmanuel, your hand has gone up first, so I'll ask you to speak. Um, speak up, please. What is on the screen right now is social media programs. So social media programs. Okay, what else? Yes. Apps. 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 Social media apps. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Trouble. Yes. Um, not. Um, the apps that you can speak to people. So the apps that you can use to speak to people out there. Okay. Okay. But what do you need? Yes, Isabella. Um, there are also um, interactive apps. Isabella says they're also interactive apps. Are they interesting to use? Are they, do you love them? Do, are they really important apps? Are they? Are they? No? Yes? Who thinks they're really important? Who uses them on a daily basis? Okay, yes, you might know what that's. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we'll see. Let's go next. Dangers of the internet. Next screen. Security, hacking. Trolling, spamming, I did. What is there? What are you seeing there? Tell me what you're seeing there. Mm -hmm. Things that people can do to your computer. Things that people can do to your computer. So from what Emmanuel is saying, people can do things to your computer. Wow. What else, Nat? Um, things that can make you like, really hurt. Things that can make you really hurt. Like, things like, that can make you really hurt inside. Things that can make you really hurt inside. Mm, that's deep. Yes, uh, Zero. The dangers of the internet. The dangers of the internet, yes. Yes, um, um, Lady things, Julia. Things that can hurt your feelings and um, could harm you. Things that can hurt your feelings and things that can harm you. So actually, that means that the internet can do a lot of things to us. Right, let's have a look at we're going to watch a video. Now, I'm not going to say much about the video. All I want you to do, grab, grab a paper, all of you, you two, grab a paper, get a pencil or a pen. You watch this video. I want you to write down everything that you think the girl in the video that you're about to watch, everything that you think she did wrong. I also want you to write out everything that you think she did right. Okay? So, let's, ready? Yeah. You got your pens and your pencils, so that means you have to pay attention, okay? And watch the video, and everything you think she did wrong, write it down. Everything you think she did right, write it down. So that means no one should be talking because we're all paying attention. We're trying to get some clues from this, right? All right. Let's go.
Did you know there's a fantastical world where you can be whoever you want and do whatever you want? It may sound like a faraway place, but it's closer than you think. Did you know there's a fantastical world where you can be whoever you want and do whatever your heart desires? It may sound like a faraway place, but it's closer than you think. This place is the internet. And for one lonely princess, it was everything she needed. From her attic room at the top of a giant castle, she could do whatever she liked. But it's also the place where Evil Arrow lives. Dangerous things happen when he's around. Things you wouldn't want to happen to you. Our story about Lost Princess and her new friend White Knight is made up. Hi. Hey, Princess. But what happens to the children we meet when Evil Arrow comes along is very, very real. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, our heroine, Lost Princess. She lived in a castle. Except, I suppose, uh, well, it wasn't a castle, more like a house on a street, alongside hundreds of others. Lost Princess took a lot of care over her appearance, but online, there were no limits. She could look however she wanted. I've got green hair. No, it just has to be purple. And to go with her purple hair, she chose a bright orange dress. Orange was her favourite colour. Apt purple. Can I carry on? Perfect. Now I'm just right. How are you doing? In Wonder Web World, there were so many people to meet. Lost Princess quickly made friends. All right, it's been me. Hi, I'm White Knight. I'm Lost Princess. Poison Apple are here live and online. Poison Apple is so cool. Yeah, they're my favourite band. I've seen them play live. Wow, I'm so jealous. My mum wouldn't let me go. Why not? She said I was too young. Mums are so dumb. Yeah, I know. Darling, I've been calling you. It's time for tea. OK. What are you up to in here? Just homework. Hmm, not usually this keen. In case now, anyway. OK, see you downstairs. Don't forget your password, Lost Princess. If you leave it there for anyone to find, you never know where it might end up. I'm not that stupid. That's what everyone thinks, but watch out. Here comes Evil Arrow. Remember, bad things happen when he's around. We've used actors to protect the real children's identities, but remember, these stories are all true. Lucy kept her password on her mobile. Why didn't you take her phone? OK, hold my bag for me. So when she had her phone stolen by bullies, they were able to get onto her profile. What shall we put? I fancy Darren. What, that spotty kid in year nine? Yeah. Ew, he's gross. Let's say stuff about everyone. Yeah, then they'll all hate her. Lucy had used the same password for her email account, so the bullies could read her mail and send nasty messages to anyone. She's such a loner. She's got no friends. Hey, Lucy, saw you at school today. Your hair looks awful. Who cuts it? Your nan. Lucy felt alone and upset. But because they weren't actually hurting her, she wasn't sure if it was bullying or not. Ah, oh, is the baby crying? Are you fed up of our nice little chats? Shame, because we haven't even started. You telling us and you're dead. Enough was enough, and Lucy told her dad everything. And he called the police. They said it was bullying and that Lucy could have told someone sooner. I got a new phone number, new profile, and new messenger account. I keep my password locked away in here, and I never leave the computer without logging off. Things quickly returned to normal for Lucy, but she definitely learned her lesson. So, Lost Princess, remember what happened to Lucy. Keep your password safe and never let anyone else log into your account. I wouldn't be bullied anyway. I've got loads of mates. That's what Lost Princess liked to think. After all, she'd made friends with White Knight really quickly. 
He was easy to talk to. But when faced with real people, she never quite knew what to say. That was okay though, because her online friends were always ready to talk. She had more contacts than she could count, but there was one person she spoke to every day. Whenever she came online, he was waiting. What are you doing in here? Nothing. What's the matter? Home stuff. My parents are really horrible. Yeah, mine too. My mum's always out at work. She doesn't care about me at all. Lost princess, that's not true. Wish I could leave home sometimes. Me too. How old are you? Lost princess, be careful about the information you share. How old do you think? About 13. Yeah, good guess. I'm 13. No, you're not. You're 11. If I tell him that, he might not like me. Lost Princess began to spend more and more time on the computer, even when she was supposed to be in bed. Just like Kieran. Kieran started playing games when he was seven years old. He did it with his friends at first, but they usually got bored and wanted to do something else. Kieran never got bored. By the time he was 13, he was playing every night after school. And now I can play online, which means I can play against anyone in the world and beat them too. He was so busy getting better and better that some nights he didn't have time to go to bed. He even stopped washing or cleaning his teeth. His parents were getting worried about the time he was spending in his room. That's it, sir. I'm taking the computer away. No, you can't. You're only 13 hours a day. I'll cut down. I promise. One more chance. But Kieran didn't stop himself. He would fall asleep in class before rushing home to get online. Then he'd play and play long after his parents went to bed. By the time he was 15, he dropped out of school and Kieran realised enough was enough. Dad, I think I need help. I think so too, son. Kieran's parents found him a clinic that helped young people with addiction. Slowly I got better and started to fill all my time with the things the computer made me forget. Hey, you're right. Back to Lost Princess. Like Kieran, she spent hours on her computer chatting to White Knight. But there was one thing bothering her. I wish I knew what you looked like. So White Knight chose a photo to send. But how did she know it was him? She was taking his word for it. He could have sent a real photo, or he could have sent a photo of anyone. Lost Princess decided to send a picture as well. But suppose he didn't like her. Suppose he realised she wasn't 13. He might not want to talk anymore. That's... So she spent hours taking the right one. Cool. White Knight really liked her photo. Now he sent her messages all the time, even when she was at school. Surprise! What are you doing? Guess who's got tickets to see Poison Apple live? Seriously? Yeah, you and me, 7 o'clock tonight. But I don't know if I can. Yeah, because you said you couldn't go last time. Don't you want to come? I will. I just won't tell her. White Knight made her feel special. And now she was going to meet him for real. Charlotte was excited about her new online friend too. <laughs> Charlotte got up early in the morning to go on the family computer. She had to lie on her profile and say she was 13, not 12. She shouldn't have done it, but she thought it was OK, because all her friends were doing it too. I've got a friend request. Do you know who it's from? Only one way to find out. Morning. Morning. I'm up early. Charlotte's mum didn't like her talking to people online. What are you up to today, then? Nothing. Her mum was so old-fashioned. What was the point of phoning just one person when online you could talk to anyone you wanted? He's a friend of a friend from school. He says thanks for adding me. The boy commented Charlotte, and Charlotte commented him back. They talked about music and TV, her favourite foods. He was really interested in what she had to say. So Charlotte gave him her messenger address. It's OK. I know him now. And he's older than me, so he's sensible. But when he was talking to Charlotte on her own, the boy was different. He asked her about stuff she wouldn't want anyone else to read. She tried not to talk to him so much, but it was hard because he was always there. 
And then one day he got her mobile phone number. It was an accident. My friend was asking. It wasn't meant for him. Now he texted all the time. Charlotte didn't know what to do. She didn't want to be rude. Charlotte, no phone at the table. You haven't said a word to us all night. Will you put that thing away? No! Let go! No, that's enough. Give it back! That's ridiculous. That's my private property! I hate you! Charlotte was arranging to meet the boy the next day. Or she was until her mum read the text. Charlotte! It turned out the boy wasn't a boy at all. He was a grown-up. And if Charlotte had gone to meet him, it could have been very dangerous. It's not your fault. And it wasn't just me. He was talking to lots of other girls as well. Telling them the same as he did to me. That he was a friend of a friend. But the thing about the internet is that you could be talking to anyone. But Lost Princess was certain she knew exactly who White Knight was. She had a photo. But when she got to the gig, no one matched his picture. He would turn up, wouldn't he? Cues, eh? She sent him a text. Maybe he was already inside. Where are you, White Knight? The gig's about to start. Shall I see you inside? She'd felt safe online, but Lost Princess had never been to a gig before and began to feel like she shouldn't have come. White Knight, I'm going home. Is it your mum? No. What's the matter? I'm not 13. I'm 11. Oh. See? Now you're really angry. You don't want to see me anymore. I do. I'd like you whatever age you are. Really? You'd like me just the same, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. If I was 14 or 40... 40? I've got something to tell you too. It's all right, princess. It's white night. Wait, what are you doing here, mate? This gig's for kids. White Knight had been lying all along just to get Lost Princess to like him. He knew it was wrong to talk to children he didn't know, but that didn't stop him. Meeting them online meant no one would know who he really was. Home stuff. And because he was a grown-up, he knew how to get people like Lost Princess to trust him. All right, mate, this way. Lost Princess began to see how little she knew White Knight. Looking back through her text, she realised how much danger she could have been in. Want to come to mine? You ever snogged anyone? Keep it a secret from your mum. You coming in? You started. No, sorry. Now Lost Princess could see that she should never have trusted White Knight. She'd never be friends with someone like that in the real world. So she did the only thing that she could. Mum, can you come and get me? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Did you know there's a fantastical world where you can be whoever you want and do whatever your heart desires? But always keep your personal details and passwords secret and be careful what you share. And remember when you're online, not everyone can be trusted. So if something doesn't feel right, tell someone in the real world. I'm Lost Princess and I live in a castle. But it's not really a castle, it's just my bedroom.
Now, guys, what did you make of what you saw in the video? I mean, you watched it. I also watched it. I want you to tell me or discuss with your family, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, some of the elements of the, 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 the documentary or the, the, the video that you think, some of the things you think she did wrong, things you think she did right. Um, what, what are the dangerous situations that she put herself into? Um, what, you know, then let's see, what would you have done different? What did she do that you probably would have done the same, but now you're realizing that she did wrong? So let's get, let's get some ideas, some opinions from our friends around the table. So, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna go around what you've got on your, on your paper, what you've written down, you read it out loud, and we all discuss it. So, for example, if Isabella reads out her opinion and you disagree with what she has said, maybe, for instance, I say, oh, she was, oh, she did the right thing by, by deciding to meet whoever at the, the concert. I think she did the right thing. If I say that, you can tell me, no, no, she shouldn't have. So I want everyone to give their own opinions. But then if you have a conflict of opinion, if you think you don't agree with what Lady Julia says or you don't agree with what Emmanuel says, you can come out. Okay, I want us to be very, very bring ourselves out because we're trying to keep ourselves safe. Let's start with this. Um, so what she did. Speak up, please, so that our friends at home can also hear us, all right? So everyone, when you're speaking, you know, yeah, you speak like a man, all right? <laughs> but you speak like a man. Go. Um, so, all what I have wrong, I'm accepting the stranger's friend She did so many things wrong, right? And I'm glad, I hope you're picking up. You are also saying the same things. You're realizing the same things. Because the point is, once you are able to identify those things as wrongdoings, then you're not gonna do it. For that, so that's the key here. So I'm, I'm glad we're, uh, Queenie. The things that I did wrong was make new friends online. Mm -hmm. He keeps playing, the girl was lying, the boy was lying, and she met an adult, not a child. Okay, she met an adult, not a child. Did she know she was going to meet an adult? No, she thought she was going to meet who? Someone her own age, because she had seen a picture of this young boy, but it was a man. And the key here is how often, how often do we share our private information with strangers? Let's be honest, let's be honest. Most of the apps, it, you know, I don't even know how to navigate around them. I see the, all the chats, Snapchat, uh, what Instagram. chat, WhatsApp chat, Instagram, what else? Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. TikTok, 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 all of them. So all these apps. So do you make friends? Do you make random friends on these apps? Mm -hmm. You make random friends? Yeah. So what are some of the apps that you use? Just name them. What are some of the ones that you guys use? TikTok. So TikTok. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. What else? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. What else? Roblox. <laughs> Okay. Do you the same? The same. Snapchat, yeah? TikTok, Roblox. Let me ask you this. The apps that you guys use, the apps that you use, do you 
Do you have to share information with strangers? Do you have to play with strangers sometimes? No. no. Really? You choose. Okay. That's good. So you choose. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very good because we know that. It's dark, dark. dark. Yes. Um, some of the apps slash games, like you have to use somebody else's like ID that they did. Uh, like you have to type it in to accept them as a friend. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's something. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Who's talking? Lady Julia is talking. Yeah, go on. I only friend with people that I know. So Lady Julia only makes friends with people that she knows. Is that good or bad? Of course that has to be good. Yes, Queen. On my new tablet on WhatsApp, I, my mom just did, I only have my mom. I only have my mom on it. You only have your mom, so you only chat with your mom. So on her WhatsApp, she chats with her mom. So when you're home, when you're in the living room, mom is in the bedroom, you be chatting, hello, mommy. No, is that what you do? No, I sometimes go to mommy. Okay, brilliant. So, guys, are you seeing the dangers of the internet? Yeah. Now, we're talking about apps. I know for your, for our age, 10 to 12, we don't tend to use a lot of these apps. I mean, once we start getting into the teenage um, um, years, you're going to be attracted to even more apps. So but the key here is the internet. All of us, all of us, we all use the internet, true or false? True. Yes. Is the internet dangerous or not dangerous? It's dangerous. The internet can be a very, very good resource you can search for information valuable information you can get really really any question that you want to ask let's say you don't know something now sometimes when uh, when my kids ask me oh daddy what is this you know what i say i say you have an ipad type it in find out what it means and then come and show me come and tell me what you found out so if there's something i have to add to it i'll do that you can use the internet to get so much knowledge. And the internet can also be, did you see the laptop with the snake behind it? Yeah. Oh yes, dangerous. So we need to be absolutely careful when we're using the internet and when we're using all these social media apps. It is so, so vital. Before we go, we're going to watch the very last one where we draw our conclusion from there, okay? Um, so let me get that one. Uh, be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Uh, you got it on there. All right. So what's the? And kisses from. So do I know what? Okay guys, so whilst we're waiting to play the video, um, yes, if you have any questions relating to it, put it in the chat, or whether here on Zoom or whether here on Facebook, um, on YouTube, I'll do my best to answer it as well as because some good comments are coming in. It says, don't spend too much time on the internet. Others are saying, um, others are saying that um, don't, don't say rude things about your parent. It's very Im important. So keep you coming in, and then I will. I will also do my best to answer your questions. Uh, is it okay? Someone asked a question. Is it okay to chat to your school and church friends? Yes, I think that the the the, the ethos or the means that you know the people you're talking to. And one advice I will also give you is that make sure that your parents know the parents of the children that you are you are talking to so if it's your church friends that your parents know that you know and also if it's a school it's a it's a schoolmate it's a school friend that you know that is what the key is okay so if it's somebody that you know and your parents know them that is okay to chat with them again at the same time 
there's a time for everything. So don't spend too much time chatting with them when you're supposed to be doing your work or when you're supposed to be doing your house chores. There is time for everything. And that's what is important. Someone said, yes, don't spend too much time on the internet too. Yes, as I said, there's a time for everything. So make sure that you don't spend too much time. Although sometimes now it can be very difficult because everything that we do now seem to be all involved around using the internet like right now being able to watch cam meeting as well so that's good okay to the video now love and kisses from oh it's on i'm sorry guys i know i've told you i'd share everything with you but this letter is really really private Okay, da -da. now it's safe in my top secret, secretive box. The internet is a great place to do research for school. Share pictures with friends, play video games, or check out the latest trending videos. But it's important to remember that there are billions of people who access the internet, and not everyone has good intentions when doing so. <gasps> You should think carefully before you share personal information, pictures, or videos on the internet. Even if you think it is private, nothing on the internet is completely private. It's a good rule of thumb not to put up anything that could embarrass you later. If you wouldn't want your grandmother to see it, then don't post it. And don't share private information with people you don't know. Trust your instincts. If someone approaches you online and makes you feel uncomfortable or in danger, stop communication with them immediately and tell a parent or another trusted adult. <gasps> it's best not to meet in person someone you've only met online, even if you've been communicating with them for a long time. They may not be who they have told you they are and it could be dangerous. If you do decide to meet someone from online, it's best to meet them in a public place and to not go alone. Always take a friend along just to be safe and let someone else know exactly where you are going and who you are going to meet. Bullying someone online through email, social media, text messaging, or any other website or app is called cyberbullying and is still a form of bullying. It's often better to block, delete, or try to ignore bullying messages than to respond to them. If that doesn't work, getting help from a parent, school counselor, or another trusted adult might be a good idea. That's especially true if the cyberbullying contains threats. Remember to always keep your personal information private. Check your privacy settings to make sure that only your friends can see what you post. And never, ever share your passwords with anyone else. The internet could be a wonderful place to explore. Just remember to stay safe while doing it. Oh, what was it? Um, my dog's birthday. Shoot, okay, that didn't work. Um, oh, I know, last four digits of my cell number. Okay, that wasn't it. That might take a while. Till next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye. Okay, that was also a very short message. We're gonna give it a while while um, we switch back to Uncle Ni. Nee. There's a lot of things that we are learning and it's really important that we take note of it. Um, yes, um, comments are coming in and someone is saying that if you feel uncomfortable with who you are talking to, tell a parent or an adult. It's very important. Always keep your parents in the loop. Always keep your parents in the loop. If they tell you, okay, over. Whilst we're getting ready, if so, they stay. We're going to watch this last one, okay? And then we will draw our final conclusions from there. So everyone will write a plenary. A plenary, okay? That's the end of the lesson. What is your sum? What is that one thing or two things? So what is that information that we want to take away from this lesson? We know how the internet can affect the people how dangerous people are out there and how we have to be very careful. Yes, Queenie? It's like I watched this in my class. Well, this? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, 
and I'll watch it again then. So after this lesson, we know some of the things that we should actually be doing, all right, to ensure that we're getting those things done to keep ourselves safe. So let's share those things and then let's run away from here quickly because our time is actually up. Um, who's got something to share? Yes, Emmanuel, posh, 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 quick, quick, and off we go. Yes. Um, never share personal information with strangers. Before. Never share personal information with strangers. Very good, Emmanuel. Matt. So who is using the internet smart and don't... Um, Sorry? Always use the internet smartly and don't share personal information. Always use the internet smartly and only share personal information with people you know, right? Yes, good. Queenie. You should, you should tell an adult what you're doing so they will know that is good for you. Absolutely. Very good point there. You should always tell an adult. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell an adult what you're doing. It is just so that you are safe. Don't try and hide things like what the lady said, what the girl said. Moms are what? I don't even want to repeat it because it's so annoying. <laughs> you know? You don't hide information from your mom or your dad. When her mom walked into the room, what did she do? She said she was doing what? She was doing her homework. But actually, what was she doing? She was playing games. Exactly. She was actually chatting with someone. She was on the internet and she lied about it. So never ever lie to your mom or your dad. Let your parents know what you're doing. Very, very good point. Um, yes, Lady Julia? Um, that you should only trust people that you know on the internet. Very good. Only trust people that you know on the internet. And finally, Zorel. So don't talk to strangers and talk to a trusted adult or stranger. Never talk to strangers. Talk to a trusted adult or ways guys i hope you have learned something very very important and i hope you've taken a clue from this lesson there are so many people out there who are just out there to get us as young people there are grown men and grown women out there behind their laptops and all they're doing is they're looking for young ones like you and they pose or present themselves as little ones just like you. And that is why it is very, very, very dangerous, but yet so good, the internet. So let us practice safe, let's engage in safe practice online. Always engage your parents online. Don't use apps that you should not be using. Make sure your parents know whatever app you're using and all the right settings have been put in place just to protect you. Now, do you know that sometimes you could be on your iPad or on your phone and there could be somebody somewhere actually watching everything you are doing through your camera. They hack into your system and they can watch you. When you're sleeping, they're watching you. When you're going out, they're watching you. When you're eating, they're watching you. Anytime you have your phone or your tablet, they're literally watching you. It is very dangerous out there. So please, let's be very, very careful. Let's practice safety, safety, safety. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope you enjoy this. Hope you've taken a clue from this. Hope you have learned something good. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for staying with us. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace be unto you. Shalom. And our friends will say bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Shalom. Bye, bye, Uncle Nee. Thank you so much. I didn't see Auntie Hannah today. Where is Auntie Hannah? Well, I hope to I, I hope that I'll be able to see Auntie Hannah tomorrow. Thank you so much. Your questions have been great. Some of your comments has been great. Excuse me one minute. <coughs> Excuse me about that. Sorry about that. Your questions has been great. Your 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 comments has been great. Please keep it up. And parents that are are watching it, please. There's so many things that we can do. We can put in place to make sure that our children are safe. So some of the things, simple things that we should cook. We should we always put computers in the family room. Never, never put laptops or in, in the bedrooms. Always keep computers in the 
a family room and please talk to your children about these things. And if you don't know how to use these apps that they're using, let them sit with you and let them show you how it's used so that you can understand it better can understand it better so that you can protect them please please if you don't understand anything please speak to a trusted youth in your church the path and the directors the youth directors are there to support you so make most of them and children if you have any problems any presence speak to your parents first because guess what your parents brought you into this world so they love you they care for you more than anybody in this world so don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So if you have anything or any problem, speak to your parent first. They are your first point of call because they feed you, they clothe you, they, 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 they want the best for you. So please, some of the comments that have been coming in has been, um, has been I'm just going to read some, you know, some of them out for you. Some are saying that make sure you notify your parents where you are going and who you're going with, okay? Yes, it's very important. So if your parents send you, you need to make sure that you tell your parents, you tell your parents where you are and, and never lie to them, okay? So keep, be honest, you know, as adventure, be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be true. Okay, some of your comments that are coming in, um, I just want to read some. Um, Auntie, Auntie Hima said, children, the truth is that most of the apps, you you must be 12 years or older. So, so says the law. But if you must subscribe, let your parents use their details to subscribe for you so that they can supervise you until you are at the appropriate age. Yes, thank you so much. I think and thank you so much for that. Um, I can see that even on, on YouTube that someone is saying that they are using their mom's account. So that's good. It's good to use your parents' account so that they can they can um someone is saying that if you feel like you're you're bullying and you ain't sure. Ask an adult. So if you feel like you're being bullied, speak to an adult, speak to your parent. And if you feel uncomfortable with who you are talking to, tell your parents or an adult. It's very true. If, um, as I said, parents are always your first point of call. And if you can't speak to your parents for any any reason, speak to your youth director, speak to your um, um, to your partner director, speak to an elder, and they'll be able to help you. Yes, and um and gabby is saying um is saying that obey your parents because they know what is right yes um okay um someone asked the question again is it okay to make an avatar um i know it's avatars that you use to play games yet again yes it's okay to go on these sites again but please make sure you know who you are talking to i know some of my nieces and, and nephew will go on there and they'll meet each other their friends from school and their friends from church that is okay as i said earlier on so far as you know or your parents know who you are talking to. So parents is very important. Um, we always say that the kids know more technology than, than we do, but please, we also need to learn so that um, we can keep them safe. And one last comment that just came in and I, I, I read it out, it says that don't send real photos to anyone. Don't send real photos to people you don't know. It's very, very important. and. To end, um, yesterday I saw um, a video that came on, on WhatsApp and you'll be surprised, you know, parents, we take pictures and we share our pictures with our, um, on Facebook and, and, and WhatsApp and be careful because these hackers might take um, things from the, at the background without you not even being aware of. Okay, so, you know, from a picture, somebody, a, a, a person with computer skills can know when it was taken, where it was taken, the address it, it was taken, where your child is at any time. So please, please, you know, let's get clued up so that we can protect our children. If you have, if you're struggling with anything, parent, please speak to your communication department, speak to your to your partner department or the youth department and they will be able to help you. Thank you so much and I hope that you've learned a lot today. It's a lot to take in, but we really, young people, children, all is about that we want to keep you safe because here, here, here's the truth. You are very precious to God. 
you are the most precious thing to God right now. And because of that, the devil knows that. And because of that, the devil will want to destroy you. We want to put things in your place to make sure that you are destroyed. And that is why it is important that you allow your parents to do their job so that they can protect you because your parents love you more than anyone in this world. And they are the ones that are best to help you. So let's help us so that your parents can also help you. Thank you all for your comments that has come in. I can really see that you are enjoying it. God bless you. Unfortunately, our time is up. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that contributed to today's service, the singing, the prayers. We thank um, Uncle Kinsley for that devotion. And we thank, we thank Uncle Nee and Auntie Hannah for that wonderful presentation and the children of Southeast Church. May God bless you. Let's close our eyes and let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the privilege that we can come and although we can be far away, we can still worship you. We can still learn more things about you. Thank you so much for opening our eyes in order to, to know about how to keep safe on the internet. Father, we know there are bad people out there who just want to see us um, destroyed. But because we have you, we know that you protect us. So Father, help our parents to be able to help us to protect us online just as they protect us physically. But above all, keep our families safe from this virus and continue to bless us for the rest of the come meeting. This I pray through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, thank you so much. That's it for me today. We will come back same time tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good afternoon. It's lunchtime. Go have something to eat and then go outside and enjoy the beautiful sunshine that is um, this. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Hello, my name is Lady Gabriella Bochidampa. I am from Bracknell, Workingham, Ghana, SDA Church. Today, I'll be singing Mama Kuma and Tutu. Mama Kuma and Tutu, a Christ of play. Munye Jiti, a Fisayen Yami Yotu. O Shaji de Fonina. Samu mama kuma ntutu Mama kuma ntutu Mama kuma ntutu Mama kuma ntutu
Thank you.